Hi, everybody. I am working on a big book of band warm-ups, and part of that involves every key signature that exists, at least 12 key signatures. In band, we prefer to read in flats, and I'm trying to keep most of the key signatures flat. I'm also trying to keep it under seven accidentals in the key signature. So, for example, um, if you look over on the palette here, C sharp and C flat both have an harmonic equivalent key signatures. So C sharp major is equivalent to D flat major, and then um, C flat major is equivalent to B major. Those are easier keys to read than seven. And then for F sharp major, I'm also trying to avoid that because a flat key signature version exists as well. So that's where I'm coming from. So this is, the key signature on here currently is G flat, and as you can see, everybody is reading in less than seven, and everybody's reading in flat, so that works fine. If we move to the next key signature over B major, we come up with some problems. So I was trying to work, figure out how to change the key signatures for the transposing instruments, because if I wanted to change this awful key signature to D flat major for clarinet, um, if I were to drag this over, it would change it for everybody, and you don't want that. For this key signature in particular, I want them to be reading in D flat instead of C sharp. So what you want to do is the enharmonic equivalent to B major, which is the concert key, is C flat. So I figured you hit command, you grab that key signature, bring it over, and now they're reading in the correct the key signature that I want them to be reading in. It is still concert B but it's in a more readable key for them, for clarinets. And then I can do the same thing for bass clarinets and all the, all the instruments on here that read in B-flat. <laughs> Boom, problem solved. Um, and Hornland down here, they're reading in F-sharp major. I don't want them to be reading in that key. I'd rather them re be reading in G-flat major. So I'm actually going to do the exact same thing. I brought... C flat major, which is a flat key signature over, and now it's changed to flat. So now everybody is reading in a readable key signature. So um, let's move to E major. There is no enharmonic equivalent key signature to E major. So for these keys, what are you supposed to do about that? Well, let me answer that question for you. Highlight the name of the part, double click or right click, staff part properties, come down here to the bottom, Prefer sharps or flats for transposed key signatures. You want to change that to flats. Hit OK. So for this part, the clarinets are now reading in G flat major. Now this over here, I'm going to get to that. Um, so now you would do that. You would do that for every part. OK, so currently everybody has a key signature that is readable. Now we come over here to um, this awfulness. We don't want to be reading in seven flats. So there's a workaround to this because even if you bring this over, it doesn't work. Um, this key signature is A major and there's no enharmonic equivalent to that. So, and because it's defaulted to flats, you're probably thinking, how do, how do I change it to, to sharps? Because I want them to be reading in five sharps. So what you do is you highlight the measure that that key signature starts in right click, go back to staff part properties, reset it to default. That does not change the previous key signatures. So the default is sharp for this key here. It doesn't change it. So you don't have to worry about that anymore. Now what you do is you grab the key signature you want. You need to grab the concert key signature this time. So in this case, the concert key is A major. Grab the concert key, command, dra drag it over, and now it's in their B major instead of their C flat major. So I can do the same thing here. You have to do this for each individual instrument. Default, drag the key over, boom. So I could do that with all the ones that are reading in ridiculous keys. And I will do that. And then trumpets. Command, grab it, drag it over. There we go. Everybody is reading in a readable key signature, at least in my eyes. So that's how you change the key signature of transposing instruments to what you want. I hope this video somewhat helps. <laughs> Definitely is going to save me a lot of time when working on the project I'm working on right now. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps.